Hello guys, uh, welcome back to Orgrimmar in uh, this series that d I haven't named yet. We are currently trying to move to the Barrens on our tor- Our Torren. This is a great start of the video, isn't it? Yeah. So we have a chance uh, to- Is this really- Really I can't climb through this? Oh, there we go. And I'm probably gonna die, which is great. No, I survived. Wonderful start to the video. Uh, we are going to head down to the Barrens, um, which we're going to uh, go to through the western exit over here in the Valley of Spirits. But I believe we need to go down and consult the little uh, the, t the war board over here. But first, we need to get rid of these quests. Let's throw them out. Let's, uh, let's delete these. And we can grab... At least we're going to get both of them now, but this is the one we want. War Chiefs Command, Northern Barons. We're going to head up here towards the Valley of Spirits. So, how have you guys been? I have uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, or, well, not really. I, um, I'm just saying that really my life has been quite boring. Um, wow. What is that mount? It's a pretty cool one. Is that the new uh, Gladiator mount? Pretty, is it the old one? Thunder. Vicious War Code. Oh, yeah, this one has been around for a while. War Trike. <laughs> Wish I had those. But we only have 28 silver, so I guess not. So I guess we need to make a goal for this character. We need to make a goal for this guy. What can our goal be? I guess we need to make him the most powerful gladiator in the whole world of Azeroth. Or perhaps we should make him the, uh, the strongest, most durable tank ever. We need a goal, guys. Um, leave your suggestions down in the comments. What is our goal? Um, because we, we're gonna reach max level, so that can't be the goal. We have to have something, um, like something grand, something huge, something important. Like this guy is going to be, he's going to get the artifact, and he's going to max the artifact out and become super strong. And he's gonna defeat. Kill Jaden and all the dudes up in the uh, the new raids and stuff. Maybe, maybe that's the goal. Uh, because if we continue in this pace right now, we're already level 10. We'll be max level uh, pretty soon. It won't take us 90 minutes, but it will take us uh, like a couple of uh, a couple of days. Um, I guess some some months maybe. Um, so okay, we're gonna go down to War Chief's command. Um, as you might see, we are level 10. Ah! Die, little Savannah Prowler. And we need to be level 15 to be able to join our Dungeon Finder right now. So, the way dungeons work in this game, since I haven't talked about that, that a lot in Leveling Legacy, I believe, is that the dungeons can be entered with pre-made groups, um, if you want to go with your guild or your, your pals, you can enter the dungeons at a lower level than they require for the dungeon finder. Um, this is partly because the dungeon finder wants to guarantee you uh, that you are uh, able to clear the content, and uh, partly because um, it wants to match you up with people that are, I guess, equally skilled as you. Um, but uh, if you want to go with your, your pals, you can go into a dungeon at a lower level. For example, right now, level 10, we can enter RFC, Ragefire Chasm. And uh, I believe we can also enter the Dead Mines at level 10, 12, 11, somewhere around that area right there. Um, but we are not going to do that. We are going to uh, wait for 15. And we're going to tank uh, RFC. Hopefully, and we're gonna try to. I guess leveling as a tank is pretty effective, but uh, I really want to. <laughs> it's more fun to level as a healer, man, because people are really, really bad early on, and uh, playing as a healer is actually sometimes a little difficult. Playing as a tank with the full heirloom gear is pretty easy mode, which is okay. So these quests I haven't done. Um, Greetings. Go with on. This one gives us a requirement of getting plain strider beasts. I think we should be able to do that. That's not too difficult. The other one requires us to gather razor mane or kill razor mane plunderers and razor mane hunters. These are a quill bore. So just abandon the quest for Ashara there. 
Ah, this guy, Uzek. Um, I thought you got a quest to go and talk to him if you did the quest over at Razor Hill. Um, I guess we need to kill these plane striders. War of these guys. We killed them last episode, now we're gonna deal with more of them. Hmm. Which is unfortunate. Our dude looks badass though, even though I won't really want to hide this this helmet. This, this helmet. Look at this one. So ugly. So bad. But listen to the music, guys. It's really serene. Really nice. Man. Well, that's one part of the WoW that I easily forget every time I take a break, is that WoW really makes me calm. Except when you're playing, uh, like, intense raiding and, and dungeoneering and, and PvP arenas and stuff. If you're just out here in the field questing or leveling, it really relaxes me a lot, which is uh, very satisfying. And I think that's really why I enjoy leveling like this, because it's super relaxing. It's... Uh, Making me forget all the stress. Everything I need to worry about is just gone. Oh my god, who's this guy? Dorak. Hello. I guess this guy must have some pretty nice stories to tell us. Come here. Come here. Stop running. What? Break the chain. Help me, warrior piggymen. Come burn stables. Fire, fire. Yeah, I guess this guy is a little slow. Wolves still chained inside. Someone's got to save the wee lads. I guess that's not really what he said, but we gotta go and save the wolvesies. Look at these guys. Uh, the old models, yay! Let's take a look at these. <laughs> wow, they are really poor. Uh, we need to oh, hit the, uh, the tusks, which is kind of great. Come on. Go, run little dog. Go away. You're not wanted here. Is there someone inside here? Yeah. Peon. No, oh, that's the grunt. Ah, ooh. That's also the grunt. I can never remember the peon. Work, work. Ready to work? Ah, uh, that's, the, that's the peon. Okay. So I guess there are a lot of these quill boars inside the cave. Yes, there is. Ah. Uh, damn. I forgot to pick up a gathering. We really should be gathering on this server because I don't have any high level characters here. Which means that we'll be short on money since we're going to be leveling in dungeons, primarily, because that's what's fastest. Well, I guess <laughs> that goes against what I just said previously, that I enjoy just leveling questing and stuff, which is more relaxing. Leveling in dungeons can be really tiresome. These guys are not the ones I'm supposed to kill either, so let's get out of here. So... <laughs> Hmm, I need to think now. Should we continue questing, or should we go and do dungeons? Or should we mix them up a bit? Uh, for practical reasons, I mean, recording things like that. Where are the quill boards? But they're supposed to be gathering out here. So for practical reasons, being dependent on um, another players while recording stuff like this can be quite... Uh, difficult. I remember from recording the um, the dungeon videos from the Legion playthrough. That took a lot of effort because you need to be aware of being so somewhat sociable with the guys and also kind of respecting their time. And that's somehow somewhat difficult while also recording because I need to, you know, keep talking and uh, focus on on recording and stuff like that as well. So my my attention will be split amongst these two factors uh, which I guess isn't ideal for not for me nor for the the group I'm with either but we're gonna I guess we're gonna try to uh, to level somewhat at least now I'm also thinking when we get to the burning crusade and wrath of the lich king as well that might be the time when we just do dungeons because those quests man those quests are they're rough. Let me just say that they're they're rough. I uh, I always regret. Like I, I usually level up to level sixty, and then I start regretting leveling up at all because I have to go through the boring content, uh, which is unfortunate. And then I need to get to the fun stuff eventually, which is I, I think the quests in Pandaria and Legion and uh, Wars Draenor are fun. 
Busy. Um, Leave me alone. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Cataclysm is bearable. It is okay. I don't really like Pandora, uh, the, the Cataclysm quests. I really like the zone designs in uh, Cataclysm. I really like the, I guess, the intentions of what they wanted to do with Vashir and with the Twilight Highlands and with, uh, uh, with the Uldum as well. Uh, I really like how they look visually. A high jaw is, uh, you know, a little meh, but uh, the rest, pretty cool. Deep Palm as well looks amazing from a, a visual perspective. Uh, but uh, the, the storylines in, in Cataclysm are a, a big mess, which is why I dislike them a lot. Like, uh, for example, Neptulon is a, a big point of uh, that storyline, and they don't really wrap him up until... I guess they don't really wrap it up at all. They kind of just throw him back in here in, during the Shaman uh, quest line. Which, if you haven't seen the Shaman quests, uh, they are on the channel as well. In the Legion playlist. Uh, but they kind of just, hey, he's back, he's, he's fine, everything is working out. Even though he kind of disappeared and things went south uh, during the, the quests in Vashir. Alright, so, pretty fun place over here. I wonder if I want to show you guys this. Uh, this is for a... Yeah, let's go and do that right now. I guess we did this all the way back in like episode 3 of um, Leveling Legacy. But I just want to take a look. We want to have some, some distractions like this um, if we come over them. Because I think that's kind of one of the smaller, more interesting things in, in World of Warcraft. Is to kind of go off the beaten path. Stray away from the intended quest uh, route. Go and explore a bit, and I know this area is like a little hidden. It's a bit separated from other areas as well. This is a no, that's just a regular mob. But there is a path up here, as you can see, marked with some some rocks. Um, this is one of the shaman quests. Uh, the dormant flame. Which is, why can't I walk up here? Is it because I'm a torrent? That's really discriminate. And uh, it's for come on. <coughs> It's a trial in itself to go up here to the Shrine of the Dormant Flame. I'm at the right place now. I'm not really sure I am. I think. Yeah, this is pretty nifty. Come on. Yeah, this is the Shrine. No, I, I, I went the wrong way. But uh, it's pretty funny, actually. We can climb all this way. Or, or are we at the right place? No, this can't be right. This is, this is the climbing episode, guys. We started the episode off by getting stuck in the wall and you know actually this is the right place wow I forgot that the way up here was um, so so strange but here we get a little nice view as you can see this is this is um, the starting area the trial of um, the valley of trials down here oh it was a floating map we can see echo isles down there the troll starting area and over here we have the uh, the pirate ships and one of the islands down here. And we have Ratchet uh, down behind that little mountain ridge. And we have some of the new buildings for the Horde in the Barrens as well. And uh, this guy, yeah, Tilf Julam, is up here having the fun time. And he has a little mace. So this is a pretty cool place. Very nicely hidden away though. Which is... One of the cooler things in video games that I enjoy doing is finding hidden places like this. So let's try to go down. I guess this is the path we were at. Let's mount up and travel to the bottom. I hope that little oh, diversion there was worth it. Uh, even though we kind of got off. Took some time off from leveling. Whoa, don't kill me, little boy. Oh, man. And it was partly due to the fact that I wanted these guys to respawn as well, so we can get some more kills in without traveling too far away, because the Barrens is a pretty huge zone. Uh, it was so huge, in fact, that they decided to split it in two, the Northern and the Southern Barrens. Uh, for organization purposes, I guess that's really useful. So, um, if you guys oh, are interested... 
the Barrens used to be a place where a lot of chatting went on in what was known as Barrens Chat. Now, you might want to go and look up Barrens Chat in your Google search bar and you get some information um, about, uh, I guess there are a lot of screen caps going around about what people talked about. But there was a lot of discussions about new bit things. Everyone that started the game out, especially on Horde's side, went to the Barrens. And, uh, uh, oh my god, so many, so many things going on there. I remember there were people talking about random, random stuff you'll find now on the internet, which is quite common now. I guess on places like Reddit or, or Facebook and stuff, but this was before Facebook, uh, which, which is kind of strange to think about, really. Uh, I guess we need to kill these plane spriders. I'm just walking between all these guys. Man, I need to keep up the pace, man, because if I'm gonna waste like like 20 minutes every episode getting like two levels, then this will take a while. And I said at the start of this episode that we wanted to get here by like a couple of months, which is we'll get by to the to the gold gold we have in a couple of months, which I I, I starting to doubt now, because I'm taking taking my liberties, my freedoms to go and explore off the beaten path. Let's head back to uh, talk to Mr. Um, Mr. Questman. So, um, hmm. I guess we need to head over to, there is a northern quest area up here, I think. We're not going to head down to the crossroads just yet. I believe there is like a stopping point to the north before we go there. Go forth to victory. Ah, now we need to head down into the cavern, the cave. Look, Doc. May your blades never go. Yeah, there we go. So we need to gather some supply crates. We've seen those around, haven't we? And then we need to go into the cave and defeat the evil monsters inside. Raise a main thorn weave on. Blah, blah, blah. So, I, uh... I guess that's one thing uh, about the WoW questing system that is so binary. Um, uh, it feels really outdated nowadays, at least to me. There are games that implement systems that if you go and do stuff in that particular area and then go back, uh, the characters will recognize that you've done the quests already. And they will say like, um, so for example, if we entered the cave and cleared it out during the previous quest, and then we got this one right afterwards, we would get a, a uh, comment like, wow, you cleared the area out already. You already completed the quest. Here, have some money. Uh, which is um, which is one of the things I love about some modern games that do that. Uh, I remember Fallout doing something like this. Fallout 3. Um, Fallout New Vegas. There are other games, but I can't really come up with them right now. Um, yeah, that's a very nice mechanic to have. Which is... Uh, because... The ordering of the quests, uh, some of the quests are totally random. I mean, we could have gone in here to deal with these guys, but I guess they kind of structure this, uh, the order of the quest based on the story that they want to tell. So you kind of have to do them in order, which is, uh, I guess it's, it's really shows off how old the game is starting to become. Ideally, you could want to do these quests in the order you like, right? You can just go and kill the leader first, and then thing would adapt to that, which is uh, what would be ideal. Oh, I was so scared there that this guy would fall into the rock and disappear. Start to evade things, lock us in combat. It's one of the most dangerous things in the game, is to get locked in evade mode where the enemy is starting to evade every move you do because they are stuck on a, on a rock or an item or something like this. They're trying to reset their position and hence they cannot be targeted by uh, your moves while, while returning. And you can be stuck in combat forever. And uh, the only solution is to disconnect yourself or uh, yeah, turn off your computer, exit the program, disconnect your internet connection. Uh, reload sometimes work. I mean, if you don't know what reloading is, it's typing slash RL or reload into your, your chat bar and it will reload the uh, the user interface. Sometimes help. Come and face me. I can smell your torrent stench from here. We get level 12. We learned a rampage. 
In the rage, you unleash a series of five brutal strikes over two seconds. Very nice. But I guess we need to try this out. Look at that. Oh, that's satisfying. <laughs> Not very difficult, though. That was this quest. Let's head out. This cave layout is one I haven't seen a lot. It is, I think this is copy-pasted from Wailing Caverns, is it? Not sure, but it's a nice dungeon. Usually the dungeons have like the specific dungeon layout that they use for all the caves. Uh, and uh, they get really tiring. Like there is one that goes in a circular motion with two spreads towards the end. This one is a bit different, which is nice to see. Uh, because you get tired of the same, same dungeons every time. So it's nice that they utilize this. Let's uh, return and deliver the quests. Uh, I guess, how far will we get now? We are just about entering a level 12, our 12th level. Which means we need 96% more experience before we reach 13. So, I tend to find that the levels between level 10 and 15 are the ones that take the most time. Uh, except for when you reach uh, level 58 and things get difficult. But, uh, I, I mean, for vanilla levels, 1 to 60. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I'm so tired right now. Uh, we, um, the double levels between level 10 and 15 are the ones that take the most time, I believe. Because you have to reshift your areas, you have to go through like different zones to find out where you want to start leveling. And after you progress through that starting bit, everything kind of rolls Strength and honor. Uh, after one another. Like you have this path that you want to go, you want to go up to Ashenvale, down to Stone Talon, down here and finish off. Um, which is very nice that you have this opportunity, but the start is very slow, which is unfortunate. So now we get a quest here to escort the caravan. Uh, which I guess we need to start by talking to her. Strength and honor. We are going to do that in the next episode, guys. We're going to start by uh, helping this Halagabladai by escorting her over to uh, the next base. Which is going to be nice. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please Strength. consider clicking the uh, thumbs up button down below as it will help me get more views. If you want to support me, there is a link to my Patreon on the page right now and also in the description down below uh, and uh, i'll see you in the next episode so stay tuned for that bye bye until then